Alright, hello everybody. Welcome back to our another Payday 2 video. Today we're going to be talking about the 4 million community update. So, and there, there are things to update you on. So anyways, let's get into it. So, anyways, 4 million Steam community members. 4 million. How does one man manage to get 4 million community members? 4 million heisers who enjoy something that you've created to that extent that they not only want to play but also discuss, engage, chat, debate, and eager about your creation. I think that's what that says. We are proud to have 4 million community members, or no, there is no community, members that are loyal and uh, dedicated. We've done things that aren't always appreciated, but the core is still intact as our community keeps growing. Payday has gone through a lot lately, and we've changed everything from the black market to skill trees, and now we're seeing old players returning and heisters emerging. We have more in store for Payday, and we're eager to get started. So now, we're going to be reading something by Almir. 4 million community members. Payday 2. Payday 2 community has reached 4 million members. Wow. Thank you all so much, Overkill. What a few weeks it has been. First we got... We get update 100 out the door and free up the black market. In one fell swoop, we received the most hated addition to our game and intentionally instant. I don't know, ended the microtransactions. With update 100 a few weeks ago, we announced that we were we are making the black market free, along with news about a new skill tree system. There was no tree in there, as well as it adding a free grenade explosive to all players, removing one uh, argument that. The game is pay to win. By giving all the players access to all damage types, additionally, we are announced that we acquired all the rights to the Payday franchise from our publisher 505 Games. How do we how do you celebrate reaching hundred updates or reaching four million community members? How many games uh, how many games will uh, will ever reach that far? And how do we as a developer answer the explanations built up around an epic uh, since update, many nights in an office were spent discussing what kind of offering we could present the hype goal that would be pressing enough. While the offering seems so obvious in hindsight, it was unfathomable before being, uh, words. What if we remove all the microtransactions? Brilliant! Why don't, why didn't anyone dare think of this before? The reason is, money. We need money to make video games, but in order to make video games, we also need players. Happy players. Why we did it, and what happened after. The addition of the microtransactions and the implementation of a Steam Marketplace in the form of weapon skins was always our own idea, before we launched Payday 2 in 2013. We had no intention whatsoever of the uh, of adding microtransactions to the game. In fact, you and the community were so vocal about your opinions that we had to clarify our stance to our players before release of the game. As we were worried that our weapon modification system was going to use a MT or MT system, we wanted to make this point absolute words clear. And on the SPOUF forms, I personally wrote the infamous Pity 2 will have no microtransactions whatsoever. Shame on you if you thought otherwise. S to explain it better, let us go back to 2015. Two years after the game was released, and wait, back, let's go back to 2015. Do you mean 2013, Almir? Two years after, oh, sorry, after the game was released and we were working on post launch content for Payday 2. In 2015, the crew had uh, tripled in size, pushing new content out the door faster than ever before. As we increased the amount of developers and the thus the amount of content for Payday 2, we were also looking at new engaging ways to retain and amuse our community. <clears throat> uh, sorry. Uh, where were we? Um, oh, right here. What to do? After months of discussion, we believed we found a way. We love working on Payday 2. We want to continue working on Payday 2 as long as players uh, permit us, and we want to continue making uh, bigger, better, and cooler content for our players. You can only do that if we have the continued support of the community and make money. As time passed, sales declined. We pushed out DLC to 
to cover costs. But we felt that there was more to be done to create a more diverse uh, way to retain revenue and not tax the players with only DLC. God, my throat is dry. So we found a clear, clever way, or so we thought, on how to add another layer to the game that people could enjoy while, while at the same time making a small profit margin. We, we introduced the black market update. Uh, s word to say, uh, the reputation was horrendous. You hated it and us for it. You felt betrayed. You were angry with us, and media covered the outrage throughout. Uh, thoroughly. Uh, it was difficult for us developers, but we endured, as we believed it was a greater good, as for the greater good. The continued survival of the game. Oh, look at this little wolf! Look at this little wolf of Dallas! So cute! A new beginning. Well, the black market update has made us uh, a, fair a fair amount of money. It did, all it did so at the cost of player and the community happiness. Something was lost. And it was not being, it was not, uh, it has, n has not been the same since. Our players felt it, and we felt it too. While we've done the, uh, the amount, oh, you most to stand by our, uh, decision, you have, you have to realize when it's time to think different. With update 100, we hope we found the perfect opportunity to break the curse and start anew. Like we said, when update 100 came out, we've we have the updated the black market so that going forward, any safe that is released will be free or for free. Starting with Rust Safe that was launched this Thursday, which was actually a couple days ago because I'm reading this post because I was pretty sure they were going to do something for a 4 million community member thing. I didn't realize it was four masks that they designed like in a week or a night. I, I just, I don't know. No purchase of drills required. Previously, you got angry at the sight of the safe in your loot drop. By changing how the system works, we hope that we can get, we can get you to appreciate content and be excited when you receive a safe. See, Almir, Almir, just to, just to break uh, the sentence for a bit. Personally, for me, Personally for me, uh, my name is Captain Diamond. I mean, if you actually watch this video, which you probably won't, it wasn't necessarily the safes. I love the safe idea. I thought it was a great way for the player base to get skins, to be like, hey, look, I got a cool skin. Hey, man, you got a cool skin? I got a cool skin, you know, and they, you know, they could fight each other, and, or no, like, not really fight, but, you know, like, how friends compare things to, like, just skins and everything. You know what I'm saying. And they, you guys can make a good profit over it like it's a good idea the problem is is that you put into the stat boost idea the whole stat boost idea is just kind of was I'm not I think it was the main reason that for me at least was one of the reasons why I didn't fully agree with the update but as over time I started to be okay with it like really I did I was like well, I mean, now I think about it, it's just like a few stat boosts. And plus, the game is not a PvP setup. So if a player is better than you, if a player is has better stats in everything than you, use that as an asset. Use that player as a part of your team so he can help you out be a better player too. Which I thought that was, I thought that was the way that it was going to go. But to be honest, the stat boosts were just, I think, should have been like left out. So that way, the skins were fully cosmetic, and you could still make money off of the drills and safes, which was, I think, the way to, to go personally. But later on, you uh, introduce the stat boost cards, which are a brilliant idea for the community to have, but it just rarely happens. And then, of course, you release the new update where it doesn't take drills, at least for new safes to have drills, but older safes now need drills. And newer saves for now on will be entirely free. Which, by the way, I sold my uh, I sold my Rust safe to actually. Um, I was gonna buy Oxyfree, but I got it for a friend. I bought I bought Undertale for a friend. 
if you if you want to know who that person is, that it's, it's, it's this person. She has a Twitch. Go look. Okay. Anyways, as we're going, uh, but yeah, I really liked the update to, at the at the start. I just think the drills, or not even the drills, just the uh, the stat boost was going in the wrong direction. But that, that that's just me, Almir. That's just me. Um, uh, by changing how the system works, we hope that we can get you to appreciate the con- Oh yeah, I said that. We have already seen positive effects by changing the old black, bl old black market and us trying to make amends. We currently enjoy a- we currently enjoy a 100% overwhelmingly positive, uh, approval on Steam in the past 30 days. Which is mind-blowing. Sorry, I got- I got a bit high pitched there. Look, I haven't had any water today, so just bear in mind with me. This is the I don't have water voice, which sounds more sad or whatever. I don't know. You see, you seem to be able to focus on enjoying the game and discuss discussing can discussions can uh, f focus on the game itself rather to questions about stuff happening around the game. People have been telling others to check out the game, which is very humbling and uh, humbling. Any action you do that might lead to a sales support uh, to continue development of the game. Thank you all for your support. An apology. <clears throat> Some players seem to think that we haven't properly uh, apologized for what we did last year. We think it's important to realize that we can't be sorry for uh, wanting the best for our, the game. Trying to work on the game and improving it, ensuring that a continued development. What we can be sorry for, however, is the pain we cause to the community members who trust who we who whose trust we broke by doing what we did. We apologize. You've helped us teach. You've helped teach us that there are better ways to release new systems into post-launch development. You have also made it clear on where else we need to improve, like our communications, transparency, uh, and more. For this, we thank you and hope, hope you, hope you uh, accept our apology. Throughout these past five years of Payday 2 development, there has been one single uh, con uh, constant, the unwaving support I'm, I'm, ra I'm raving, sorry, okay, I can't read certain words, it's a, it's a problem, support of our community, and that, and for, and that of our publishing partner 505 Games, through the five years our players have supported uh, our every decision known and unknown to them, 505, wait a minute, unknown, what, what do you mean, what, what do you, what do, you, what do you mean? What, what do you What do you mean? You, I'm still I'm still upset at you guys for messing up the suit mo the suit models. So my Spike Spiegel suit is messed up now. But I can I can forgive you. Just just get just give me give me a, a character and in Pede and then we're good. <laughs> You're not gonna do that whatsoever. <laughs> um, 505 Games has been with us from the beginning of the project. Uh, Pede two, not pay the heist. And have oh by the way the five years uh two years for payday two two three two or three three year almost three years now two yeah almost three years now um and and the other years were for payday the heist so and I've been there uh, and have been there to support and guide us when we had uh, when we had no other bandwidth than for developing the game. Uh, it, it is in part thanks to 505 Games and their incredible support that Payday 2 is what it is today. And that and that we now had the opportunity to acquire the full rights and bring the franchise back home. The perfect scenario for any game developer. Oh my god, Almir. Almir, like when did you write this? And look, the first comment just says K. What kind of horrible community do you have? Sorry, sorry. I, I don't I don't mean to be rude, but kind of this half of the Payday 2 community is kind of it's it's kind of bad. Kind kind of bad. 
I'm just saying that, like, there are a few players that are very toxic, but uh, you know what? Everybody else, you're you're all right. You're all right. You, you know, just just don't don't be a don't be, don't 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 be what Chains always says. You know, drills and everything. Don't don't be that. Don't be that. Don't don't be that. Okay, never mind. Thank you. We want to take this opportunity to say thank you to 505 Games and thank you to our community. We will stay uh, committed to listening to your feedback and extend our payday to support until at least the end of 2017. Thank you all fellow heisters. Keep those helmets flying. Support... Uh, or sorry that we... Sorry. So this happens sometimes. We will continue robbing banks and getting paid. Thank you all for supporting us and for continuing to believe in us. We salute you. When we in the Overkill crew see crew see each other uh, come Monday, we'll talk about what we should do to celebrate reaching 4 million community members. Stay tuned for more information on that. Uh, TLDR, we tried something new, we screwed up, we apologize, we're still alive and kicking, and we want to continue making Payday 2 better all the time. Thank, thank, all the time. Thank you for being a part of it, and please uh, be patient as we come up with something nice to give you. So, as a few days later, we got it, people. We got the update. We got the 4 million updates, community member thing. What do we get? mask oh I just lagged out my thing by trying to <laughs> so this is the conquest mask it looks like something that you would see out of Assassin's Creed that or this is the older Darth Vader slowly waiting can I can I check out my Twitter while I do this no okay uh... anyways so I uh, tweeted at Overkill saying congrats on reaching 4 million uh, members, or 4 mil. However, I said it, and I said I'm glad to be a part of this community. I'm glad to be a part of this community, and, you know, uh, I can't wait to see what happens next. And Elmir tweeted back saying cheers, Cap. So, I don't know if Elmir knows the existence of my channel. Which, if he does, well, we're going to be in trouble and we're probably going to get kicked out of the Payday 2 community soon. <laughs> Anyways, Conquest. The, idea of the, the uh, identity of the first horseman of the apocalypse and exactly what he, is, what he represents is something still greatly debated to this day. Some call him Conquest, some say he, some say he was Christ himself. And some claim he was even the anarchist. I see what you did there. I see what you did there because there's a perk deck in the game called anarchist. Okay, sh just shut up me. War. The second horseman of the apocalypse is war and the violent spirit of mankind. War believes humans are naturally vicious and that, that they don't require a real reason to fight or kill. He rode a fiery red horse suggesting that the blood would flow whenever he went. Fame. The third horseman of the apocalypse embodies the is the embodiment of fame, a for a force so powerful he would leave people starving to their deaths if he if they laid eyes upon him. I don't know. I'm not sure if I'm reading that right. I'm sorry. Death. The fourth and final horseman of the apocalypse apocalypse is death himself. Whenever, wherever death went, hey, Hades always followed with jaws wide open, ready to devour the souls of victims slain by death. All right, well, less on a depressing note, we're going to go to the chain log. That's everybody's favorite part of the video, right? Is when I go into a long depth, you know, about the chain log that everybody reads. Not, not true. Nobody reads the stupid chain. Okay, apparently my, my steam is still s stuck from yesterday. I don't know what's going on. There we go. Okay. And boop. All right. Update 1, 104 change log. Can't have four because it's from General, uh, reserve the buttons for resetting skill trees with controller. 
the reset skill tree uh, dial dialogue will not be shown if there are no bot skills. I don't know what that means. Fix an issue where ECM jammers placed by clients did not apply skill upgrades. The animation for restarting the skill tree now only plays for the active tree. What? Fixing a, a crash when playing with someone who was using the Santa's Slayer skin. Really? Really, that was a thing? That you can crash from a skin? Okay. Alright. Fix, fix a crash when getting a new safe before updating the game. Fix an issue uh, where the player could pick up broken sentry guns. Fix an issue where the wrong message would appear when going infamous past infamy level 5. <laughs> infamous level 1! What? I'm at 10 already. What the, what the heck? <laughs> um, change the uh, pro, permit, permit when uh, grabbing new throwables out of the uh, asset. Okay. Fix issues with how accuracy was uh, calculated that would cause some bonuses to have received effect f from what was intent. What? Oh, okay. Okay, okay, you keep doing you, man. You keep doing you. Levels! Aftershock! Did you remove, did you remove the safes? Are you gonna add rust safes to the, to, oh my god, can you imagine if they added rust safes? <laughs> uh, Aftershock. Uh, fix railing by a uh, construction yard that was not connected properly. Remove interaction on a fence that couldn't be cut open for no purpose. Uh, back to basics allowed. Twerk collisions to prevent players from exiting the level on day two. Fix an issue where the uh, the cocaine bag could be thrown out of the level. <laughs> Twerked when the level goes loud if the player tries to stealth the level. What? What? <laughs> Uh, back to basic stealth, fix an issue where the collision was uh, not removed above the door when the door was open. Fix a issue where the double door would not open if the player shoots the lock. Fix an issue where the cameras would not turn off if the camera guard was dominated. Big Bank, Spe speed up the spawn of Captain Winters after he has been announced. Made a flower pot slightly heavier to prevent it from hovering above the cur I'm sorry but really made a flower pot slightly heavier to prevent it from <laughs> hovering above the ground uh overkill I love you I love you just the, just the little the little things that you do that not a whole lot of people really pay attention to but are so fun to read for me uh boiling point Twerked AI pathing around pallets in the lumber mill. Twerked AI uh, pathing around the a, around a door so players will have harder time hiding from the enemies. Cook off. Added collisions to prevent players from throwing bags outside the level. Fire starter. Removed a invisible wall in the first hangar to the right on day one. Removed removed a box that was clipping with a garb with a gar garbage dumpster on day one uh framing frame moved collision between the doors on day one go bank fix an issue where an interaction to open a trunk would be present even if the car was not car sim or ca car, car simulator <laughs> goat simulator removed a flagpole that was not supposed to be present on day two <laughs> i think i know what flagpole they're talking about <laughs> Uh, Hoxton Breakout added, added a collision to prevent players getting stuck behind a door on day two. Uh, add a collision to prevent players getting stuck in the back of the van on day two. Fix a railing that was com uh, was clipping with the wall on day two. Uh, prevent the server from being picked up through the wall on day two. Removed flying monitor on day two. <laughs> Removed two gauge packs that was hiding wo that was floating in the air on day two. <laughs> uh, I love you. Oh God, Hawks and Revenge. Remove the escape zone on the van to prevent lo lone players from finishing the level un unintentionally. Thank you, thank you, 
Thank you. Oh my gosh. This is something that many players have wanted. At least stealth players, like solo stealth players like me. <laughs> uh, meanwhile, like all the team players are like, <laughs> dude, get some friends, y'all. Why are you using y'all? That's weird. Add a collisions around the river to prevent dead guards from falling down. Okay, thank you. Uh, Mercury station, prevent the alarm. Uh, prevent the alarm to be triggered again once it has already sounded. Prevented dead guards and fillings from falling down holes in the basement. <laughs> basement. Remove a fence that was clipping with the environment. Fix an issue where the loop bag limit was set too low. Fix an issue where the player could leave the level. Slaughterhouse. Removed an invisible wall near a truck that was misplaced. Removed overlapping floor object that caused texture flickering. The biker. Fix a crash when leaving the heist mid-game. Added collisions to prevent players getting stuck uh, behind a door on day one. Removed a chair so players could, should not be able to get stuck on day one. Prevent collisions to prevent players from getting stuck in a corner of the house on day one. Torched an enemy spot, enemy spots to enable more enemies on the ground and less on the roof on day one. Fix an issue, fix a crash that could occur when the theme, when the fix a crash that it could that could that could occur when the female bikers what what with with the fe oh with the female bikers not okay weird. Undercover, toward collisions from players from entering a room not intended to be part of the level. What? Uh, Santa's work under undercover? Oh, I don't Sorry, I thought you were talking about counterfeit and how the basement can be interacted with part of the payday. Too secret, obviously, no. Santa's workshop. Fix an issue where a gate was not properly attached to the fence. Skills. Fix an issue where trigger happy damage bonus was not uh, being uh, correctly uh, applied to the trigger happy skill will no longer trigger when enemies are shot by other players or AI sound replace some vocal uh, voice line uh, for securing bags for Bodie Sydney Jimmy and Russ with ones not mentioned uh, numbers uh, steam market saw weapon skin can now be applied to both primary and secondary weapons because we need a saw skins Sorry, that just makes no sense to me. The death mask is literally sans. That was what I was talking about. Wasn't it? Wasn't it? Wasn't that what? Uh, isn't that what the sans? Thing? Yeah, things from whatever this game called Undertale. Oh, why are you looking at all my stuff? Stop! Stop! Oh yeah, that was the friend that I was talking about. I got her Undertale. There you go. There you go. Anyways. That's about it for me. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, please check out some videos on the channel. And I will see you guys in the next video. And as anyways, stay safe. Have fun. And see you in the next video. I, th I messed up my thing again. Gosh darn it. We're going to restart the video now.